seems you have two options. Either you turn him in or confront him. I don't think I ever love him more. She's, she's going to be a great mom. I mean, she really is. I know that. Hey. Hey. It's, it's, I think what we were talking about getting out of town for a few days. I need to ask you about something, and I need you to tell me the truth. Of course. What is it? You I got nothing to hide. Let him. Where are they taking him? If I were you, I'd worry about myself. I needed you to be wrong about him. So say the word, and, uh, and I'm gone. Just you, me, and Ike. Before I go, I have to tell her. I can't let you do Didn't that. Is there someone? You, uh, a friend. This is going to be a difficult time. The best way to keep the memory of your father alive is to talk about him. Tell me some stories. What is the question, Lizzie? Are you my father? Be careful of your husband. Do you find me anything? <laughs> and you have so many secrets. Is exactly what I am supposed to be. And I wish you didn't, because I don't have any secrets. You were right. You've discovered something curious about your Come in. husband, haven't you, Lizzie? And I just watched you. Reddington? He's not who you think. I will find you. I can prove it. You want me to stop him? What no, we'll just let the tail follow him. Goodbye, Liz. How is this all gonna end? This is an end. And then something new will begin. Because when I get over there, I'm gonna take that gun away from you. No. You can't leave him alive. Please go. I'll finish it. This is between us. Reddington knows where I am. He found me and he is coming here, but you need to know. You can't trust him. I thought about telling Reddington. You just He'd know what to do. You can't hide me forever. You're always going to have to live with it. Couldn't do it. And I, I told you I could kill Tom. You. But after you left, I just... When you love someone, you have no control. Look at me. You are never to see her again. And I never told her about us. Not one word. I risked my uh, life for you because I care about you. Deal with that. The only reason he was with me was because of my connection to Reddington. The connection you say didn't exist. I didn't know about it, but others did. And you learned your husband was a spy from Reddington? Sort of. Elizabeth is in trouble. Are you gonna let a crime you committed to protect Elizabeth be the reason she goes to jail? Like you care. And you are. My name is Tom Keen. I don't care what happens to you, I came here for her. In fact, she tried to stop me, she begged me not to. You saved a man you hate. To save me. It's me. You okay? Where are you? Are you okay? I don't know where else to go. Remember? You're the one who brought me back in. Do you think it's possible? For uh, someone like me to start over, to become something else. I'm the one who hired Tom Keene to enter your life. You are my greatest failure as a profiler. Uh, You're my greatest success. But I want you to remember what your life really was with him and imagine all that it could be without him. Like I had a life and that somebody cared. What was that? That was goodbye. And all I could think was you. You were the one who hurts Liz the most. She's here in this right now because of you. You said you could help me find answers. Yeah. I think I can. Tell me what you know about Reddington. Just don't lose him! No, God. Stay with me! Come on. My mother, he's the only one who knew about her. Listen, unless he's gone. You'll never find out who you really are. 
I don't need to know who I am to know what I want. What do you want, Liz? You're right. I'm telling you this because I don't want you to be confused about my part in any of this. You, Liz, <laughs> oh, man, I'm out. I'm done. Were you in love with her? Is that why my father died? You killed him because you were in love with my mother? Tell me what happened, please. I'm not going to tell you what happened, Lizzie. Then I'll find out for myself. I should go now quietly. Come in. You want to talk about it? I wanted to see if you would join me for dinner tomorrow. Uh, I made a reservation at 7 at this great little place in the corner of 32nd and M, and I hope that you will come. Or not, but uh, either way, I'll be there. Listen. Listen to me. the trigger. When I shot Connolly, I, it came back to me. That's why you blocked my memory. Not to protect yourself. To protect me. Yeah. I never wanted you to be. What? Like me. Never to come back. Help! My name is Masha Rostova. I'm a Russian agent. I work for the FSB and I'm seeking diplomatic immunity. You are a lying scumbag and I don't trust you. And if you do, you're a fool. Just gonna walk away. Hey, I'm talking to you. That's enough! I have to live here. One who knows your marriage? <laughs> I know about you, too. I know you're risking your life for someone who doesn't want anything to do. The Cabal's not coming. They're already here. But I can get back to Kane. Where is she? FBI custody. The Cabal was trying to get at her. You're just a one-man Justice League, aren't you? You know you're gonna get us all killed before this is over. Get me out of here! Principles are a bitch, man. I avoid them at all costs. I'm not trying to tell you, Liz. I am following it. Hey, Dad. You want to know if he died for nothing? Whether he did or didn't. It depends on whether you pull that trigger. Die, Solomon? You're under arrest for the attempted murder of a federal agent. You saved Elizabeth. I'm forever in your net. I believe you were friend. I gather your team. It's time to take down the cabal. Is he under arrest? Who is this? Does this have to do with Agent Keene? I'll tell your sister you say hello. The United States has confirmed cabal framed Elizabeth Keene. Elizabeth Keene? Will you marry me? <laughs> you will not marry her. Why? Because I didn't ask Daddy's permission? Is that really why you called me here? Or did you just want someone to play go fish? 
You married her over my objection once. It will not happen again. Just promise me that you'll keep an open mind. All right, about Boston and us and a little one. I wish you didn't have to go home to that empty apartment. I don't know. I'm kind of into empty. I get to take my time. It certainly isn't a convenient time for you. But if in saying that, I left you with the impression that I didn't think you should have your baby, I'm sorry for that, because nothing could be further from the truth. On the contrary, I can guarantee it, but I cannot do that if you run away. You're the only reason I need protection. I wish it were that simple. I say things that unsettle you about the dangers that lie ahead. I know I anger you with things I say about Tom, but if I've ever given you the impression that you won't survive this, that you and your child aren't going to have the simple life that I know you long for, I'm sorry. Because you are going to have that, Lizzie. I want to keep the baby. Our baby. Going to be a pretty sweet getaway car, right? Uh, not that you would know. It happened because I made it clear that I'm out. Please don't do this. Tom is not the man you think he is. He's a criminal. No. He's changed. Men like Tom don't change. You're attempting to build a life with a man who is fundamentally dishonest. I am attempting to build a life with the father of my child. A normal life with two parents who love one another. With everything you know about me, can't you see that? Can't you see how important that is to me? To my child? You were wrong about him once. What makes you so sure you're not wrong this time? Do you really want your child to pay the price for that mistake for the rest of his or her life? And now someone out there is singularly focused on coming for her. Coming to kill her? No, to abduct her. The sending Solomon. In retrospect, that's a perfect choice. He knows us intimately, he knows about the task force. They gave us a false trail and we followed the scent. Sorry, Lizzie. Light him up. Tom, get her out of here. Ready for this? Yeah. I think we all know different. She was humble, self effacing, and very, very special. Like all of you, I don't know what to do. I'm sad and angry. You'll learn fast. Like you also. I'm also very blessed to have known Elizabeth. So as we leave here today, let's celebrate. In the last few days, many have come up to me and they've said, we are so sorry for your loss. But we haven't lost Elizabeth. We know exactly where she is. Alexander Kirk. But Alexander Kirk is the man responsible for Elizabeth's death. And if we want to get Alexander Kirk, we're going to need her help to do it. He thinks I'm responsible for the death of his wife. I think you're responsible for her death. I'm looking past that because I want Alexander Kirk's head. And so does Tom Keen. I understand we're going to be working together to find the man who took Elizabeth from you. You took her from me. No. Alexander Kirk did. Got a lot of work to do. I hope you're a chocoholic, my friend. We're going to the chocolate factory. Let me say one thing. I'm not your friend. Party time. On the floor! And this sure as hell ain't our neighborhood.
I need everyone to slide their cell phones to the center of the room. Put it down. Don't be a hero, baby. 60 seconds and we'll go. NYPD, I said put your gun down. No, 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 you don't want to do this. 55 seconds. Put down your gun! No, you put your damn gun down! It's just a flesh wound. You're going to be fine. Oh, my God. She's bleeding. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. and cedar Let's go. Well, in this situation, you're in this situation. situation. Because you attacked my wedding. You're right. But you and I both know that your wife is in a much better place. That's for my wife. I'm sorry you weren't more honest with Elizabeth from the beginning. I'm sorry you wanted to know her so desperately that you convinced yourself we could keep her safe. I couldn't sit back and watch you make the same mistake with Agnes. I didn't betray you. I did what I've always done, protected you. I know you had her best interest at heart that you were trying to protect her, but now because of you, Agnes is in grave danger. Not just Agnes. It's just you and me. Can I have a moment? Before I go, we did it. Cause I've been by myself all night long. Hoping you're someone I used to know. You look like a movie. You sound like a soul. My God, this reminds me. I was trying to help you to know that. Not on your side, dear Kate. Hey, there, my baby, please! That's not your child. Trina and I have been thinking about where we go from here. Tell me how to find Mondo. Sorry about Nikos. You did your job. I know, but I didn't mean to. I'm not here to make him feel better. And I'm not here to make you feel better, Tom. Where's my daughter? Oh. Huh? Where is she? Where's my daughter? Huh? Where is she? Tom! Let's get out of the heat. Thank you. Of course, Raymond. This isn't about saving you from me. This is about saving you for him. Well, he doesn't have me. No. But he has Agnes. I want you to know it means everything to me that you are okay with that. Thank you. Everything's gonna be all right, Liz. My work is for me. Let's do it. I'm sorry, Marshall. No, I told Tom. I specifically said, no, please bring her back. I'm begging you, bring her back. I'm not gonna fight with you about this, Liz. I did what I thought was best. And nobody is sorry than me that it didn't work. No, no, I know someone who's sorry. Our daughter, who now because of you is God knows where. Tom tried to trace the link, trying to find Agnes, but Kirk found out and now... Uh, She's gone. It's hard to admit that every Please, Atiyah. But the full presidential pardon of Elizabeth Keene. Oh my God, why has you been pardoned? <laughs> it's good to have you back, Agent Keene. Not bad. It's a new beginning. It's a lot to give up. Believe me, it's not. 
I threw those out this morning. Yet here they are. David, Kaya. I used to be scared of those guys. Not anymore. I don't know how to keep you safe. You don't have to keep me safe. Elizabeth, if you get out of the car, you choose Raymond. If you stay, you choose the truth. What have you done? I have a break. They're right there, and I dug it up, and I'm going to give it to her. I won't. Then I will. I loved you, Raymond. Hey! Ow! What is it? If you would like to record Tom. He's missing. Dembe, one of Kaplan's associates, has to have it. We need to find that suitcase before it finds its way to Elizabeth. It's about Reddington. What about him? He's my father. I wanted to tell you that I love you, miss. And I'm never going to leave you. Ever again. You better not leave. I'll kill you. Captain didn't leave instructions. No, just a number to call when I picked up the suitcase. She has a confederate. Maybe he has the answers you need. I was really hoping to get him from you. I really should go. I made that suitcase. You need to find that suitcase. Who has it? I won't ask you again. And now we're going to prison. I am going away to prison because of you. Nice work, Chief. And the only saving grace is that you will be even further away, buried in the hold of a ship somewhere in the Indian Ocean, and Liz will finally be rid of you. And here I was thinking she had finally made peace with me. She had, because she's kind and decent, and she sees the best in people, even when she's being lied to. He just called. He said he was able to extract DNA, DNA from a tooth. Well, that's great, Nick. This feeling begins just like a spark tossing into the Just uh, let me know the minute you know more. I know he can, but ultimately it's my responsibility. Nick would have never been involved with Reddington if it weren't for me. And he's been a good friend to us. And I just feel like we're never going to see him again. <laughs> Would Nick be alive if I weren't in his life? <laughs> We've lost so many friends. I don't know if I can lose any more without just crawling into a fetal position or becoming a stark raving vigilante. <sighs> Listen, right into the vigilante. All right, and I'm pretty sure there's a one per family rule. Wonder what can of worms we're opening now. Hello? Who is this? They're lying. No, I'm not lying. I got a wife and a kid. I'm not dying here. Not for you. You want Reddington? I can give him to you. He trusts me. I've always seen my relationship with Elizabeth as a zero-sum game. You think what's good for me is bad for her, and what's good for her is bad for me. Get out! He will kill you if you don't. Um, when it comes to things she cares about. Like you? Uh, you made it clear from the beginning how you felt about me. You're unreliable. Yeah, well, I fell in love. That's no excuse. I wasn't making one. If we're not surrounded, we will be soon. 
Check the property. They're here. about your husband, haven't you, Lizzie? To me Can't you see Honey, you can't tell me that there's not one shred of doubt Everything One shred that wonders This is Broken So beautiful to me. You are so beautiful. He's lost a lot of blood. Call Harold. Tell him we're going to the hospital. Raymond, they're not going to make it. Call them. To me, can't you see? You're in the house. Please. dangerous. I know he is, but I'm not alone. I have help. <laughs> 